Ooh. All right. I know it's been a long while, everybody. Welcome back. Um, I have never played this game before. This game is called Swan. Uh, supposedly it has something to do with Chernobyl. And uh, from what I read on the, uh, you know, the game description in Steam, it's more of a survival horror instead of like um, like a stalker game. So let's check this out, shall we? All right. Beginning, setting, it up. Go to the beginning. On the 26th of April, 1986, near the city of Pripyat in Ukraine, a disastrous catastrophe had taken place. Yeah. The reactor Unit 4 of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant had broken down, which led to its explosion and subsequently to radioactive contamination of the vast area. In a short period of time, over 350,000 people were evacuated and resettled. A restricted zone was designated around this power plant, which extends to many kilometers. All buildings within this zone, including the surrounding city, were abandoned. At the beginning of February 1987, nine months after the disaster, a team of scientists from the Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology, which measured radiation in this exclusion zone, received signals that proved the existence of people operating in this area. Also, various unexplained anomalies had been discovered, which could have resulted from a type of radiation previously unknown to scientists. Why are they wearing masks? Like, it turned out that near the city of Pripyat, the Swan already radio, Institute was also located active, here. Like, its name comes point. from the abbreviation Syndrome Without a Name, the term given to the group of symptoms that do not occur in any known and catalogued disease. The facility was unofficially conducting a research program on unprecedented and very disturbing neurological and psychological disorders for many years. After the disaster, the institute was omitted during the evacuation operation because it was not included on any map. Only a few people from the USSR Ministry of Internal Affairs knew about its existence, but after the Chernobyl accident, they chose not to perform rescue operations on its territory. Scientists received details regarding the institute's scope of activity from an anonymous person the facility was top secret and cut off from the rest of the world. People were sent yeah. there from all over the globe, and each medical case was unique in its own way. Because of the extraordinary abilities resulting from unexplored and undiagnosed diseases, patients were a threat to the environment. They were caged up and lived in strict isolation. This entire situation was kept secret from people outside the government, other than the few scientists who were made aware of the Institute's activities. Scientists from the Moscow Institute, experts from the General Nuclear Inspectorate of Ukraine, and the rescue staff decided to send a special research and rescue expedition immediately to clarify the source of the anomalies and to save people who might still be alive. The group was commanded by Alexei Tokovsky, a rescue specialist. After determining the exact coordinates of the facility, the group reached the place and got inside. However, all people were separated and lost contact with each other in unexplained circumstances. Ooh -ooh. <laughs> Nice. 
To all the people whose life changed irreversibly after the events of April 1986 in Chernobyl. What? Is this game dedicated to him? Hmm. All right. Are we waking up here? What's going on? Uh, yep. All right. A door. A light. Journal. Personal notes. The mission began on the 10th of February, 1987 at 8 a.m. The search and rescue expedition under my leadership consists of seven people, including me. We're taking a helicopter flight to the Swan Institute. We intend to verify the data received from an anonymous informant. If the information is confirmed, we will have a scandal of Chernobyl's magnitude on our hands, or even bigger one. Other nations will get interested in the issue soon, especially that since the nuclear reactor disaster all the eyes are on all eyes are on us it is strange that despite this nobody else has found out about this facility's existence i am not intending on keeping it a secret but for now the priority is to rescue the poor souls who are most likely still on the institute's premises we have medication rescue equipment and highly trained people Search and Rescue Mission Expedition Crew, myself, Alekby Tarkovsky, Rescue Unit Leader. Oh, man, I'm going to butcher these names. George. You know what? You could read those. I'm not even going to try that. All right. Journal. All right, cool. Tab to open the journal. Wait. Tab to close it. All right, we're going to need a flashlight. Torch. Okay, bag, equipment. All right, items are kept in the bag. To open and close the bag, press uh, pause the game. Okay, pick up a torch. Turn off. Oh, one to turn it on and off. Tab, open and close it. Secret digits. One to open the bag. Oh, hi. Okay. Okay. I already did all that. Look, do look. One. One. There we go. Of course it is. Oh. Nice. Yep, there's a run button. Space to jump. Wait. Dangerous here. Ah, I would think so. My home away. All right. Oh, shit. Already? Already we're going to start with this, huh? Oh, man. I forget. Just tell me why I do this to myself. <laughs> Can we just leave? Ah! What's down here? I don't want to sprint. I'm like going sprinting nowhere. Good. That means nothing's coming out of it. Sweet. Nothing's coming out of that door either. I have a feeling I'm going to have to run. Oh. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, note. Since the incident, the telephone has been ringing less and less. I hope that Professor K knows what he's doing, especially now that uh, the anomalies keep getting stronger and the patients are getting more detached by the day. I myself barely manage to cope mentally. Man. Oh, I gotta go on the other side. Yeah, I'm watching that door.
They're like a duck. Oh, Jesus! What the? F okay. Don't use telephones. Telephones are explosive devices. Apparently. Hey. That hallway was. Oh, geez. yep. There was a door over here. Locked with a key. Most doors are. Okay. Uh. Oh. I heard something. What was that? Another note. I left the detector in the locker for you. It'll come in handy when that damnation appears again. Please remember to turn off the light when it's close by and don't ruin it. Please. I hope we will meet again alive. Man. Okay. Well, that means we're going to have to figure out how to use this thing uh, real soon, huh? K type ionizing radiation detector detects radioactive pollution, shows this level. Okie dokie. How do I use it? Uh, go with number two. Oh, does it just work automatically? Oh, jeez. Oh, thank God, my Well, game saved right there. Um, what is that sound? Nope, oh, not that. Ooh, can I close this door behind me? That would be amazing. I cannot. Uh, I have a feeling that was... Not a good idea. That. To our revered comrade, K, hey, kindest regards. Dear A, our friend, we, your party comrades, would like to express our pride of your membership. Your input is invaluable. You are one of the founding blocks of our ever-growing community. We are deeply convinced that your work will keep us strengthening both our friendship and the party's might. Thank you for your arrival at the official decoration ceremony. Please remember, you can always count on us. Long live the Ukrainian Social Soviet Republic. Long live the USSR. All right. Oh, I have a bad feeling. Ah, enter password. I don't know the password. One, two, three, four. Uh, nope. God, I wish that door could close. Her medical case was exciting and nightmarish at the same time. One, I have no idea why, but this monotonous and seemingly funny melody made this woman appear from practically nowhere. Three, Wonderful. it is a contrast of sorts. How a completely innocent sound was a foretelling or an omen of the atrocity to come. 9. Horrifying beauty. 4. Oh, man. I should have been paying more attention. How do I open the journal? Uh, select tab. Oh, 
work. Okay. One, three, nine, four. One, three, nine, four. I'm gonna open some horrific door. One, three, nine, four. <clears throat> Gee, thanks. Oh. The swan factor. I'm convinced that the existence of swan factor since the beginning is believed it is achieved, and I mean, I can't even read most of this. All right. It's one you could pause and read it. Finding capital. Remarkable device. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to go through all this. If you want, you can read through it. Pretty sure it's riveting. Let's open the safe, shall we? Pretty sure. Now this is where all the bed. Take a key. Ooh. Yeah. Just as I expected. <gasps> what the fuck is that? Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Uh... Yeah, you can go away now. Oh. Um. Well. What do we do now, folks? Do we uh, run for it? Oh, I gotta get to that room, though. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna slide over here. Uh, yep. Yep, yep, I see that. Well, I can't really... I have any weapons. Can I duck? Nope, there's no duck button. I crouch. Okay, so we're just gonna see if we can walk past it. Shall we? Nope! Ah! A bad idea. Oh, okay. What do we do? Oh. Still there. What's going on over here? Nothing? Oh. We already did that. Uh, what happens if we turn that radio back on? Nothing. I can't. It won't let me. I can't see a damn thing. Um, I only got one way to go, and that's forward, so let's find out. Oh, uh, nope. I think we're dead. I just think we're dying. Too much radiation. All right. Well, um, yeah, I think we'll pick this up tomorrow. It's getting late anyways. So, thanks for checking this out with me. Uh, until then, keep gaming, my friends. I'll see you later.